Hey guys, and welcome to part three of the uh, Snow White and Rose Red uh, color along. Um, so I think we'll just jump straight in. I'm going to zoom in some. Uh, let's see. So today we're going to try to finish it off. Sorry, just moving my camera a tiny bit there. And uh, I'm going to start with Rose Red's skin. Um, we're still using Artisa Experts. Um, links for everything will be in the description as always. Uh, so I think I'll just go ahead and, and start. Um, so we'll start with Peaches and Cream, which is number 200. Um and we're gonna go over everything or all her skin just a really light layer Let's see. she doesn't have very much skin it's just like that one hand and these two tiny little legs here Uh, let's put some more where it would be a little more shaded. I think it's super cute how they're holding hands. Um, let's do some apricot. So it is number 111. And we'll just put that in in the darker areas. Uh, just very lightly again. Her fingers would be more shaded because they're like underneath both her own arm and also Snow White's. Same with the legs. They're kind of covered by a lot. So just go over the whole thing. Um, then we'll use some Burnt Ochre, uh, which is number 202. Here, just in the shaded areas, like pretty much the, the same place where we put apricot, just a little bit less, like so. Actually, she might need a little bit more, just right there. See, then we can go back in with apricot, like so. And in here and there. Just cover the whole thing pretty much. And then back in with peaches and cream. Like so. And then go in with cream which is number 100 and just use it to blend make sure it's clean like the tip because um, I use I use cream to blend a lot um, well cream or ivory or, or it depends on what set uh, but I use cream and and ivory and also white to blend a lot so just make sure it's clean so it doesn't have because you know we wouldn't want like blue in there I'm gonna blend some more on this hand up here too on Snow White like so so there is that that's the skin done um then we'll do her hair and since her name is rose red i'm assuming she's got red hair so we're going to start with garnet red um it is number two one three um and i'm just gonna go along in the more shaded areas of her hair and it i don't know how this is gonna turn out because like i said i haven't used these pencils a whole lot 
I just got them in and um, I started one other page with them but I didn't finish it so um, this is like the first completed picture that I will have done with these let's see and I have not gotten to know all the colors yet I didn't swatch them I'm just kind of eyeing it and winging it so let's get here I don't even know if I want to swatch them because um, they're saying that they're they're changing all the color names and they're also changing the formula slightly so I don't know if there's any point in swatching them if they're gonna kind of just switch out all the colors a little um, so but I don't know uh, I'm not totally sure just go like where the hair overlaps and you can pull it out if you want I keep saying I'm not gonna flick and then I end up flicking a little so just I guess some small flicks just a little bit so that it you know can you can get a, a nicer blend too when there's a little bit of flickage going on so let's get this here around like so and here just pull this up a little and let's see here like so ish might put a little down on the bottom here and see some there maybe a little bit in there in that bend and a little bit like so maybe a little just right here and then some in there And then just, you can go over as much as you want. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Well, never mind. Let's do some up here to get a little. Uh, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And um, just pull that out a little, like so-ish. See, then we'll go in with our next color which will be passion fruit red it's gonna be very red hair uh, see that's number two one two Let's see and we're gonna go over um, the previous color and pull it down and you can do it like a little flicking as long as you're flicking in the direction of the hair then it should be all right. And I just made a boo-boo. But it's all right, we got an eraser. Let's see, I'll leave a little. Um, I'm gonna cover almost everything, but just leave a little, cause there's one more color to go. Unless I decide to blend a little bit with like cream or something, then there's two. If we add in some cream, just two dull down the color a little bit and um, tone down the red slightly we can also go over with a little bit of brown but I want it like red and it looking it's looking a little browner on my on my screen but it is it's pretty red <clears throat> let's see here get this here like so I'm still very impressed by the tooth of this paper it's got way more tooth than I expected it to there's a dog hair on my page trying to channel my inner Connie 
with this hair. So, there, I do have some dust there, and then you can just keep going over it until you're satisfied. Once we've run through all the colors, you can always, um, run through them again until you know or however many times you want until you're satisfied uh so spanish red which is number 206 and we're gonna go over pretty much all of this maybe leave a little highlight here and there because these colors are pretty close but um i really like them so Hopefully it'll still turn out cute. See like that. Get some here. Get some in the curls here. Get a little bit there. Let's remember to erase that boo-boo that I made. See, like so. Get a little bit more in here. Just a tiny bit. Very lightly over the highlighted areas. So they're still a little highlighted, but also kind of sort of covered. See, and I've been trying to think about what to do next, but I haven't really come up with anything yet. Um, as always, if y'all have any suggestions of what you want to see me color, or um, if you have a book that you want me to do a color along out of, y'all can leave that in the comments if you want to do that. And I do have a list. Um, so I will get to them all eventually might take a little while i am one of those um I, I have to be in the mood for a picture to be able to color it so sometimes it takes me a little bit longer but i will get to them all eventually like so i think and then we're gonna go back over with uh the garnet red which is number 213. Let's see, just a little in the darker areas because this is our darkest color. You could put in a little bit of like darker brown if you want to do that. But I want to keep her hair as red as possible just because um, I think that is what she's supposed to look like in the fairy tale that I read. Or I skimmed. I didn't really read it, read it, but I did skim it. Let's see. Let's get some here. Just do some flicks. like so and i think probably since we went over with this we're gonna have to go over with the other colors so passion fruit again <clears throat> Let's see here and i think i want to do her bow in her hair blue um since we made snow white red and i also need to remember to get my gel pens out so we can do all the um 
patterns and all that. like so and then here this is the uh, Spanish red by the way Go over. Let's see here, and you can just go over until you are happy with it. I kind of like the way it looks now, so I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So her bow will be sky blue. Uh, that's not sky blue. Well, that's not sky blue. That's periwinkle blue. Sky blue. That's what I want. Sky blue. Just base the whole thing with it. Uh, let's see, like so. Still have to erase that red I got into what's supposed to be the sky. Keep forgetting. Let's see, and just go and map out your shadows with the sky blue as well. I've got to sharpen my pencil, but it's all right, and get a little bit on the underside of the bow. <clears throat> and also get some along these um, lines. And maybe a little bit up here, like so. And then on the underside of that ribbon down here. And same on this side. And this one we'll just do a little bit on the bottom. See, then we'll go in with some blueberry blue. And just go over where we mapped out the shadows, maybe a little bit less. And just not pull it out as far. Oops, like so. And you can put like a little bit right here, maybe, if you want to do that. Like so. And a little bit down here. And then same on this side. And there would be a, a bigger shadow on the underside. At least in this case. Let's see, like so. And then just on this ribbon, right, where it um is overlapped by the bow you can pull it down a little around the edges and same with this side like so and then back to the sky blue and go over all of it again i think i need to sharpen mine a little bit though here and then I think I want to go over with the white and just kind of blend it a little bit and blend it from the light into the dark so 
like so. And then here, same here, and same over on this side. Like so. Uh, then I need to remember to erase this right here. Like so, and also erase that. And that, I think that is it. There. Um, then her dress. Um, I wanted her dress red. Um, so I think, sorry, I got my pencil case up here. Maybe the Venetian red and we'll also bring in maybe the garnet red to, uh, for shading. And then also, no, not that one. Let's see, where's the rose red? We used a rose red. Uh, so we'll start with the Venetian red. And we'll start up here on her shoulder. Just a tiny bit of dress there. And same here. So it'll be a lot of red, but hopefully we can see the difference between the dress red and the um hair so you go around everything get this like so and we're i don't know we're kind of starting with a medium color i guess and we'll go over with the darker and the lighter one later not sure why i started in this order but it can be done in many different ways let's see so here, just leave a little white at the ends and um, towards the end there, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good at explaining things clearly. Let's see, so pull this a little out and see I think like so and we will do the same on the other side just I guess mirror image it oh oops, I got some in that bow there it's okay so like so and get it like this almost to the edge but not quite like so and then we'll just kind of get this wrinkle right here pull it down you can pull this one down a little bit more too actually you can pull it down as far as you want let's see pull this out here like so maybe pull this out a little bit too like there then we will go in with the rose red we will go over almost everything And just pull it into the darker color it's just a little bit darker it's not very dark let's see here that's why we got the um venetian red what was it garnet red to put in some extra depth and some shadow in like so and oh jeez let's 
do the same thing on this side. Almost do the edge there. Just go over. And then, let's see, then we will go in with some of this uh, garnet red. We'll go in, I need it sharp. Let's see, we'll start on this side and we'll go under the little belt or ribbon there. Around the hair in these little creases or wrinkles, whatever, whatever they are. Like so, get this here, like so, and then go ar like down and around, almost down to the edge, but not quite. Like so, and you can pull it out a little bit if you want to do that, just very, very lightly. like so you can pull this down a little bit too if you want to do that like that and I just need my brush see and then we'll go on this side and do the same thing it out a little just so that it would make for an easier blend and also here pull this that crease down a little like so then we can go back over with the Venetian red, which is our mid-tone, and you can go over the darker areas, and just remember to leave a little highlights so that we can go um, over that with the lighter colors. Um, I feel like I'm making no sense today. Just like so. Because we don't want to blend it into like just one color. like so then we will use the rose red and go over pretty much everything you can leave some white if you want like so and like so and you can go back and forth between these colors for as many times as you want to I'm gonna cover up this harsh line a tiny bit just to bring some red into it like so do need some more layering on this side. See 
here, just a tiny bit there, like so. I think that looks pretty okay. Just keep layering a little. Just here, like that. That looks pretty okay. And then I think I'm gonna go over with some white just to smooth it out a little bit. I'm gonna leave some texture though. Uh, and I just realized I completely forgot the shoulder up here. So let's go in with the darkest color, the garnet red. Put in some shading here. I always forget something. And then the rose red in here. And that's our shoulder doesn't really need that many layers because it's so tiny and then white and blend from the lightest into the dark and also clean it off every once in a while so you don't get it all mixed in there you don't want to pull the darker color into your highlights Let's see, pull that in there you can increase your pressure a little bit if you want to with the white. It is going to dull your color some, so make sure you got, you know, enough pigment on there so that it still um, looks red. And I just cleaned it off on my pants. Let's see, I think that is okay. Try not to get it into where the sky is going to be. So like that. And then get this here. And then get this here. Like that. And then we'll do the other side. with this highlight here and pull it in there clean that off like so get this here like so I'm gonna go over that darker part but before I move on I'm gonna clean off my pencil like so the rest here I think that looks nice <clears throat> see they kind of match it I like it I like it um okay so I think we're gonna give them the same shirts so I need my grace Let's see which grays was it that I used now I can't remember I know I used the fog gray and probably also the smoke gray I'm I'm guessing but if not that's what we're using now so sorry about my squeaky chair and we'll do the rest of our outfit white uh, so we're gonna start with the fog gray and Put in the shadows because with white you basically just have to color the shadows not that I'm not that I'm any type of expert I just I know the theory and I just putting it into practice is is a little different uh, but practice makes better so Let's see like so we're gonna pull it about halfway ish up And this would be a little bit more shaded because of her hair. Get in between her hair there. 
some of that. So we'll just cover that whole thing. Let's get her arm over here. We need to do her basket. We don't have much left now. It's basically just her rest of her dress um, and her shirt and her shoes also and her basket. And then we're on to the background, which I mean, you don't have to watch the background. So. Um, so here, like so, put some color in here, along these lines, and then get these other ribbon and pull it down, see like so there i don't even know if any of it shows up but it will look white ish hopefully when we done so let's do the rest of her dress here and go along where where stuff is overlapping let's see here get around this area I'm gonna leave most of it just white I think I always say that and then I go over it again and cover even more I have a very hard time leaving stuff just white um, it's something I gotta work on <laughs> See, like so um, and then we'll use some of this smoke gray and we're going to use it right where everything is just overlapping, uh, just to put in a little bit more shading so it doesn't look just gray. Uh, let's see here, there, get this, get this belt here, also on the other arm would be a little bit more like so and pull this down a little just on the underside of her arm also a little bit in there because that is kind of overlapping pull it out a little bit from those little lines there I'm coloring faster than I can explain what I'm doing so <laughs> sorry Let's see, pull these down a little, like so, maybe a tiny bit right there. And this will not show up like a whole lot, but it will, it will be there. It's basically just creating the illusion of white. Go around that. And go around this, just very lightly. It'll show up, um, even when it doesn't look like it's like showing up a whole lot, it will show up. And just go around all this here. A little extra right here, because it's kind of curled, or, or bent. Um, and especially also up in here, would be extra too. Um, and then basically just follow the outline of the, of the dress. Um, is it a, it's not really a dress. It's more like an apron, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. The only dress I know of that has an opening in the back like that is like a hospital gown. Um. So, and obviously this is not a hospital gown, so I don't know. Maybe it's some type of dress I haven't seen before. Let me go and get this done here. Just underneath at the bottom of the dress or, or whatever. And then you can also do these little lines here and just draw the line. Just follow it down. And it won't show up very well, but it will be there. And I'll give like a little bit of a... Like 
of a definition in there. Like so. There. That is all the white, I, I believe. I probably forgot something, and I'll probably figure it out later. Um, so I guess we just got the shoes and the basket left, and then we'll do the background. Okay, so I think we'll start, we'll start with the basket. Um, and we'll do pretty much the same as we did on the other side, on the basket over there. So just get in the shaded areas, like underneath here. And also here. And you can pull it out a little bit. Um, also, we want some underneath here. My pencil is getting pretty dull, so I might have to sharpen. See, like so. And also in here. And let's go around. Like so. Just pull it out a tiny bit. And then in under this um, towel-y thing. Or whatever it is. It's not really a towel. Um, I don't know what it is. But a lot around the decorated fabric-y thing. <laughs> uh, let's go over the lines here. And just darken them a little bit. Same with here and here and in this here like so and then let's see we'll move on to the burnt ochre um, and just go over on this one here just go over all of it because it's uh, behind a bunch or in front of a bunch of stuff Let's go around here, leave a little white. Same with here, you can leave some white, but pull it up a little, or almost all the way. And here, just fill all this in. And I need my sienna again, because I need to get some more dark in these there because I've got then I'll just do the same here and fill it almost all the way in in the bottom you probably don't really have much of a choice but to just fill it all in let's see like so there and then we will go in with the yellow ochre and we'll just go over all of it and try to go from the light and into the dark so like so And in here, <clears throat> like that. I think that looks pretty okay. Let's see, let's get this there. Um, <clears throat> then I am going to get my blueberry blue. I'm going to sharpen it. And we will do this part here, blue. So just go in in the shaded areas. I'm not going to worry about the, the pattern or the decorative little things there because we're going to gel pen that. Let's see. 
I mean, I'm going around it a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about, like, if I if I get something, you know, it's okay. And just pull that up all at all. And same with these ones. Put some in where they meet and pull it out a tiny bit. Let's see here. And here, and this one needs a little bit of a shading there. Then we're going to go in with our sky blue. And we're going to fill in the rest. And then I'm going to use some of the white, uh, just clean it off, because it's got red on it still. And I'm just going to blend it all together. And also smooth it out. I might have to go over a little bit on her hair too, because it's a little too textury than I want. So just clean off my white again. I'm gonna sharpen it a little and then I'm just gonna go over here with her over her hair with the white. Woof words. And I'm just flatten out the tooth a little bit. Um, unless you want to put more color down can do that too and fill in the tooth that way trying not to spend you know too much time on anything let's get this here also need to remember to do it all the way down there I like the way this looks, so I think it looks pretty orky day. You could also just use a blender, but I happen to have the white on hand, so that's what I'm using. It also dulls the color a little. Or you could use a cream. I think I was talking about that earlier, and then I forgot. But yeah. You can use some cream. We can actually put in some cream now while we're at it. I'm hopping around a little bit, but that's okay. So yeah, cream. And just put in some of that in with the in the lighter areas. Let's see, like so. And uh, there, I think that hair looks better. Then we're gonna do her shoes. Uh, let's see, what was it I used? Just this, yeah, burnt umber. We'll use the burnt umber and we'll just fill in the soles of her shoes. Like so. And then also put some burnt umber right here. They will have matching shoes. Ish. Because of course, I can't really remember what I used on the shoes, but I think this is what I used. Let's see. So here. Like so. go all the way around like that um, let's just put it over here 
Uh, burnt sienna, uh, sienna, burnt sienna, sienna brown. I keep wanting to call it burnt sienna, but it is indeed sienna brown. Let's see, and then just pull that over the darker area and just pull it in towards the middle. And this pulls up. A little bit more over here. Like so. Then, um, burnt ochre. And pull it almost all the way in or all the way in but like lighten your pressure uh, towards the middle let's see here like so get this here like so and then <clears throat> We will use some cream to blend. I just cleaned off mine. Although it's not that big a deal because we used it on the hair and these colors are kind of red-ish. So let's just blend all this. And there we have her shoes. And I think she is about almost all, all done just need to do a background so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick me some colors and I will be right back okay so I got me some uh, colors for the background and um, let's see I uh, picked out some greens for the grass uh, so let's see I am gonna turn my book sideways a little bit and I'm also going to zoom out some uh let's see I figure we do the background inside of the frame not going to go all the way um up around here probably try to keep it mostly inside the frame and then you know down here with the grass so I figured first we will go in with some absinthe green and let's see just kind of use that all over where the grass is at hoping this turns out good i am not a backgroundy type of person um i usually avoid them so and just cover all the grass Let's see and pull it up a little bit around those plants pull it up here don't know how far up I want to go maybe up to like here ish let's see so here cover all this I'm gonna try to do it pretty quick because um, I don't want to spend too much time on the background it's not the um, most entertaining thing to watch so let's see this I'm not going to go any further up on the uh, by the spine here because I really don't want to do a uh, like full page background um, so I'm gonna keep it like that let's see let's get in between her shoes and up in here let's see so it's about up to I guess where their dresses start ish
book back a little. Let's see, up in there. And just cover this grass right there. I'm not going to pull it any further up than that on that side. In here. Let's see, and like so ish. Uh, let's see, what's it about up there? Let's just get up in here and like so. So like that. Um, then we'll go in with some spring green, which is a little bit darker. And I'm going to put that in the shadowier areas, like underneath the bunnies and probably also um let's see maybe a little bit around here <clears throat> like so and I just realized I'm kind of sort of out of frame so basically just underneath the bunnies also let's get some under her feet here and some up in there. Let's just get here. It's probably a little bit easier if I have the book the other way, but I find it so much easier for me to just do it this way. Let's see. So let's get also get under here. And up in between her boots pull it down a little and also in between the plants a little and it'll look way better than this hopefully when it's done so let's get some maybe under the dresses here. And then let's just um, get some of this and pull it out. I imagine it will be a little darker um, <clears throat> where the trees would make everything look a little darker so let's just get this here so it's kind of like and I'm just going in very circular motions with this <clears throat> let's, see, let's get some more up here Oh, and I hate doing that by the spine too because it turns blotchy real quick. Let's get some more up in here. And pull it out. Then some more there. So some more like so. And some more down here. Like that. I don't even know if it's showing up like at all what I'm doing. Um, let's see. So uh, apple green is our next color. That's number 608. And Let's just go in the even darker areas, like right underneath the bunnies, you know, right here. I'm forgetting to move my book back down underneath their boots, and up in there. bit like so let's get this up here <clears throat> excuse 
excuse me. Let's get some over here in between these flowers and things. Underneath the dresses a little. see then I think I do have a darker green here but I might just want to go in with that later maybe we'll just put some in now yeah let's use the forest green a little bit and just go in the very darkest areas up in here a little and just very lightly again I need my previous color because I forgot to go up in here although that will be pretty dark up there but it's all right and I'm sorry if I'm a little zoomed out but it's so much um, easier to just zoom out some instead of having to move my book around like a whole lot I'm gonna go over these little grass lines with this color. A little up in here. Pull this out a tiny bit. And go over all these. Just get some here. And this is pretty much all we got left. We got this uh, background here. I mean, I still have to do the other background up there. Uh, or the rest of the background. Um, but yeah, pretty much only have the background and then a little bit of detailing left. So we still have some gel penning to do. Um, but that's pretty much it. some underneath her feet here like so um <clears throat> oh and my voice is going again i was just eating a little bit because i had to pause it for a sec to have dinner and holy it was spicy like really spicy so like so this all these little tufts of grass Oops, it normally can go a little bit like like that with it as long as it's in the right direction let's see like so since we did it on some of them should probably do it on at least most of these or all of them let's see here <clears throat> let's just get these while we're at it So, and then 
then we'll keep going with adding this color. And you can go, you know, over and over until you're happy with it. Let's just add a little grass up here. Like so. And then we will go back to the absinthe green and we will see what that looks like. And we're going to go over everything with it. Let's see what that looks like when we're done. If we want to do some more layering. If you want to brighten that up even more you can use a, a brighter green or you can add in a little bit of yellow <clears throat> I think there's definitely a, a difference between over here and down here so I think I like it more up in here and just get it a little more blended. And I try to keep the same amount of pressure over the whole page so I don't get unwanted lines. Pretty okay. Maybe a little bit more over here. Just in under the dresses. Like so. Um I think that is okay and let's see then I guess we should get us some blues so I think I'm gonna start with the sky blue and uh, we'll go over everything with it like the whole rest of the background so I'm just gonna start over here and we'll do it on like the inside because the, the trees kind of looks like a, a little bit of a frame so we'll just do it on on the inside of the trees y'all know what I mean let's just get this here and get up in here and there goes that dog again <laughs> maybe maybe that dog doesn't like me recording um yeah, just get the 
whole inside of the tree. So let's see, I can move my book a little bit just so that it all fits. Um, obviously, y'all can do whatever you want to do with the background. Uh, let's see, so here, let me get some in there. Just make sure I get it in all the little in-betweens. I really like this blue. I feel like this is probably going to get short real quick, especially if I keep doing backgrounds with it, because that will kill your pencils. Let's see here. to get around here hopefully that bow doesn't disappear in the blue sky i don't think it will because uh you can still see the green leaves against the green grass so. let's get it all the way down Here and get all around these flower petals. And we'll go over them too with some gel pen or Posca or something. Just so that they, I don't know, because it looks so unnatural to me with white flowers with black outlines. It doesn't bother me with the red flowers, but the white ones, that does. Looks a little weird. Try to get around these yellow flowers and not make them you know, green with the blue. Let's see here. Get in between the bunny's ears here easy place to miss especially for me just go like so and just kind of blend it into the green where where they meet hopefully and you know just cross your fingers and hope it looks a little somewhat natural <laughs> that's what I do let's see like in there like so um did I miss anything I think I got everything on that side uh, let's just start up here and work our way down. Let's see here. Get up in there. And get around all these petals. Oh, I might have to slow down a little bit. It's getting a little streaky in some places. But it's not really that big of a deal, though, because sky skies are usually a little bit streaky sometimes. They usually have, you know, different colors in them and clouds here and there. I am not adding any clouds on this one though. Um, so, it's not really that much problem to adding clouds here. Plus, I also didn't think about it before I started. So, let's see here. Let's get in here between these two roses. And in there. Try to get around this black hair without pulling the black into to the blue.
here and in between these there get that up there and then move it all the way down to where it meets oh and then I gotta do that middle part too just in here, like so. And in there. I think that is it. Yeah, I do think that that is it for at least all the in-betweens there. Then we'll just do this one real quick. our base for the sky except this one right here that I almost missed probably missed something somewhere so and next up we're gonna use the Mykonos blue which is number 507 and we are going to shade around the tree a little bit and in the in-betweens because I feel like the trees would cast a shadow so just really lightly because this is uh it's a bit darker this blue and I'm not gonna go with as many blues as as we did with the greens let's see here go around and pull it out a little that would be like this would be a little darker here and mostly just shading on like the underside of the tree or the one the side you know facing either down or facing the girls that makes no sense because I'm not doing a background on the other side <laughs> oh, yeah. let's see let's move this up a little bit I need my paper moved I forgot let's see here and if you want like a darker sky you can go a little you know you can pull it out more I want to keep mine pretty light-ish. Let's pull this down. Kind of like, maybe like a little bit of a medium. I don't know. Let's get up in between here. And here, like so. Let's just get some there. I know that, you know, can't really shade the sky, but let's get some up in here. Also underneath this branch here. Usually also the sky is a little darker, you know, up here and it goes lighter as it goes down. So that's what we're also going to do. So it'll be like the girls are in the center where it's lighter and it's a little bit darker around them. And I just got some blue in that flower, but that is okay. I am going to white out the lines anyways, so I'll go in and fix that when I do that. here let's get some a little bit down let's see probably pull 
pull this down a little. Pull that down. Also pull this down here. Like so. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be super even because this guy is very rarely even. Uh, let's see, let's get some under here. Let's see, let's move this book a little so we can see where I'm going. Let's see, like so. Pull this down too. Maybe a little bit more. And let's get in between here. Hopefully yours looks smoother than mine. My pencil is getting a little scratchy. Okay, so I gotta pull this out from here and do some shading underneath the branch and also get in between the here and I'm gonna pull this out some like we did on the other side. I might pull it out some more. I got some blue in that flower, but it's all right. I'm gonna go erase it. See, like so, and then I think on this side, I might just pull that out slightly in places, just very, very lightly. I think I went a little too little with the darker blue over on this side. Here, I think, like so, and then let's see, maybe we'll try to turn the book back, and then oh, sorry, hopefully that didn't make y'all dizzy, and we will start over here and we'll just go back over with the sky blue I don't know I might have to turn it back I'm not sure Let's see and then basically all we got left is some some detailing that um, and that is it and we finished this whole page If I turn it like this, it's a little bit better. Just need to remember to stay in frame. Let's get this here. Let's also get up in here. basically go 
over everything. Just off into the darker areas and basically just you know go back over it and you can go back and forth with your blues as many times as you want till it looks the way you want it to um let's see oh you could also go in with a blender or a blender pen or blending solution if you want to do that here it's a little blotchy but it's okay I think I might go over with um, a white maybe or um, a blender something like I said background says not what I'm the best at but practice, practice, practice. Or big open areas in general. trying to like finish this layer so we can move on to the details because we're uh video is getting a little long i think and oh and also um Speaking of details, I mean, I will do them now, but um, I was wondering whether it would be better to have a separate video in the future when doing details and just do, you know, the colored image um, and then, you know, say now would we'll end the video after the background and then do a separate video on doing the details. Or if you want to just add it into um, the video like I'm doing in a minute because obviously um, I won't know until after this is uploaded what is uh, preferable I mean I can do a little bit of both I could do the picture and then add in like a, an extra video with uh, the details um, detail work with the gel pen and the uh, with the gel pen and the poskaing and the adding little dots here and there or stickles or whatever it is we're using. That would be very handy. Let's see here. I mean, sometimes uh, people just want to see, you know, certain parts. And I totally get that. Let's see. Like so, I think. Oh, man, that looks kind of blotchy. Yeah. So let's use some white. And we will turn this a little bit again. And we'll just smooth it out a little bit as best we can. I mean, you can go back over with your, your blues. But I'm just going to go over with some white. And 
and just so that I don't spend too much time on this background I'm just gonna do a part of it and so y'all can see basically this is what it's gonna look like kind of sort of like I said I might I might go a little bit back and forth with the blues uh, so I'm not pressing too hard with the white uh, but yeah, I'm not going to make y'all sit through that because it's, you know, pretty much just a, a blue sky background. So, I think we'll leave the background there. I, I really, I like the grass, but the, the sky, I'm probably going to have to tweak a little bit or go back and forth some with the, uh, with the blues. So, details. We'll just do those real quick. Um... Let's see, or maybe in the future you want me to do the background in a separate video. That is also a possibility. Uh, let's see, so for the Snow White, we're going to do red details, which is the black slash red sparkle pop. Um, and this will turn red. So I'm just going over all the little dots with the black red sparkle pop like so um i think i'll probably do her buttons that way too let's see if i can get the whole thing there do these ones here they'll also be be, be um, sparkly red because as far as I understood it these two sisters were were uh, very very attached to each other so it would totally make sense to me that they would you know have a little piece of each other like Snow White has a red bow and red embellishments on her dress and Rose Red has a blue bow and blue embellishments on her dress. Let's see here and I always get confused with the sparkle pops because um, obviously she will have blue uh, sparkly things on her although not as many and I think it's the green sparkle pop that is blue <laughs> it's so confusing they always confuse me let's see like so Um, and then I think before I do over on her side, I do want, um, I'm just grabbing an Arteza white gel pen. And I'm just going to outline these petals with the white. And hopefully they will show up. these are not the best gel pens um, I know a lot of people love them but I can't get mine to work properly sometimes and they don't work sometimes and sometimes they clog up pretty much the same as any other gel pen let's see go around all of these flowers get 
this one here. Sorry, I get really quiet when I'm concentrating. Let's see, we'll probably just do... Yeah, the black is still showing up through. So I might use, I might move on to a different type of gel pen or something. But we'll do this one here and then... Um, I'll just do the rest on my own. Just so, because I don't want to take up any more of y'all's time. Then, you know, I have to. See, like so. And yeah, let's just do these two here. And because it's gonna, I don't know why, but it's gonna freak me out if I don't do all the ones that are like floating. Oh, I forgot to do the detail on her. On her um, basket. So, green slash blue. I think this is blue. Let's cross our fingers and toes. And let me get... Oh, can I do this? I can. I can do this. Okay, so let's put the green up, up here or blue. I think it's even coming out. Is this even working? Oh, there. Always get confused with these buckle pops. So we'll just cross our fingers and toes that that's blue. So, um, there's that. And then we will do the embellishments over on Rose Reds here with the green slash blue. And if not, they'll just, she'll just have green. It's fine. You can use any other blue gel pen that you have to. You don't necessarily have to use Sparkle Pop. Mine is either clogged or empty, of course. Because why not? I think it might just be clogged because it's got green all over my fingers. So it's working or am I going to have to move on to a, to a different one? Might have to move on to a different one actually. This one's pretty empty though. I can barely even see anything. Okay, let's try this one. That's better. Oh, so much better. Okay. See, like so. Here. like so and then let's get some red and put in on the butterflies that she has on her little basket thing and then also use on these there and see is that it I think maybe actually that that is it. Um, I might actually put some gel pen maybe a little bit on the bird's neck here. Because it's a little darker or a little more highlighted there. See, like so. And I'm going to try to do it up on the other one. But I um, don't know. Okay, here. Yeah, I can do it. It's just a, a really weird angle because I didn't think about this before. 
I went in with the glitter gel pen. And maybe just, I guess, I mean, this doesn't really take away the line completely, just a little bit. So over the wings and up top, I think. So let's see. I think, is that it? I think we finished. Except, you know, I do have to work a little bit more on the background, but I'm not going to. Uh, sit for, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make y'all sit and watch that for two hours so but you know like I said just back and forth with those colors and you can go over with white and smooth it out um, or just blend it all together uh, with a white so that works too so but yeah we finished uh, let's see if I can I got green all over my hands um, I really like how it came out. Um, I think it turned out really, really cute. And let's see, like I said earlier, um, if you have a specific book you want me to do a color along in, you can just let me know in the comments. Um, and also, I'd love to see your picture if you did color along. And you can tag me on Instagram at Appetite for Coloring, same as my YouTube name. Um, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully coloring along and um i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one hugs and love guys bye toodaloo